Hello and welcome back to your own channel Indian Defense Analysis where we bring to you all the latest development happening in the defense sector. China has deployed advanced long range rocket launcher systems near LSE. One of the Chinese artillery brigade is stationed 17000 feet above sea level in Xinjiang military district. It is expected to be a long range rocket launcher that can carry multiple 300 mm or even bigger rockets with more than 100 km of firing range. Over the years, China has developed several rocket systems with different range and different capability and a journey for the same began in late 1990s. In 1997, China received a small number of Soviet Smirch multiple launch rocket artillery system which was the most powerful multi rocket system of its time. Eventually, China reversed engineer Smirch to develop its own indigenous rocket system which is called A100. The A100 artillery rocket system has 10 launch tubes for 300 mm artillery rockets. It is claimed that A100 has a maximum range of 120 km versus 90 km of improved Russian Smirch. It takes 8 minutes to prepare a launcher vehicle for firing and once rockets are launched it leaves its firing position within 2 minutes the launcher vehicle is fitted with a satellite navigation system to provide real time positioning data the system can launch single rocket or full salvo the a100 has underwent trial by chinese army however phl03 rocket system was selected which is also a close copy of smirch the phl03 is also a 300 mm rocket with 12 launch tubes and range between 70 to 130 km it is also being replaced by new version which is phl 16 the pakistan army has also procured 450 plus chinese a100 system which is mostly produced in pakistan under its space and upper atmosphere research commission suparco The A200 is a Chinese precision guided multiple launch rocket system GMLRS and an upgraded version of A100. It is equipped with strap down inertial navigation and GPS and adds a front wing to control the flight trajectory. The rocket has a maximum range of 290 km. The Chinese A300 is one of the latest artillery rockets from China and is capable of firing rockets of different caliber which means it can use parts of A200 and possibly other calibers the A300 rocket system has a maximum range of 290 km and can carry 150 kg of warhead the rocket uses inertial and gps guidance system with circular reliability between 30 to 45 meters the launcher vehicle carries two parts with four 300m rockets each the launcher is capable of single or salvo firing It takes 50 second to launch a full salvo of 8 rockets. China also claims that each rocket can be targeted individually, which means the A300 can hit up to 8 different targets simultaneously. The Chinese type PCL191 or PCL16 is the most advanced long range multiple launch rocket system of China and can be considered as Chinese high mars. It is a modular system and can use pods with 370 mm or 300 mm guided rockets. The system can carry two 750 mm Fire Dragon 480 tactical ballistic missiles each with a range of up to 500 km or eight 370 mm rockets each with a range of 350 km. At present, India does not have indigenous 300 mm rocket, but it has an imported one. The Indian Army has 62 BM30 Smirch system. The erstwhile Ordnance Factory Board has produced several rocket variants of the system. Smirch is a 300 mm single stage rocket with a larger payload and a smaller range. Indian Army uses four variants of these rockets which has maximum range between 70 to 90 km. In January 2023, Indian Army has also released an RFI for the life extension of these rockets by private firms. However, considering the long range rocket system developed by China, India desperately needs its 300 mm modular rocket system with varying range. Finally, DRDO has launched this much awaited long range multi-bay rocket program. 
The new rocket under development by DIDO will be a 300 mm rocket. The measurement represents the diameter of rocket. At present, the various rockets developed by DIDO for Pinaka MBRL are of 214 mm diameter. The increased diameter of rockets will allow its extended range than existing Pinaka rockets. At present, the length of rocket is not disclosed. This rocket will be developed in two variants, guided and unguided one. The range of these rockets will be in excess of 120 km. Now, as per reports by Times of India in December 2021, a private firm JSR Dynamics is also developing a guided rocket of 324 caliber, which is first of its kind. The rocket will have a range between 250 to 300 km with precision strike capability as it will be a guided rocket system. The design of rocket has been completed and its guidance system is expected to be ready soon. The firm is in discussion with European company to provide high specific impulse propellant. The warhead would be made by JSR. The rocket is being designed and developed independently by JSR using its own fund. On 15th June, Solar Industries has submitted proposals to manufacture two high mobility long range precision rocket system Maheswarastra 1 and Maheswarastra 2 under Make 2 category of Make in India initiative. Under the Make 2 initiative, the companies have to build prototypes without funding support from government. The Maheswarastra 1 will be a multi barrel guided rocket launch system with a range of 150 km and will carry 250 kg of custom design warhead to defeat variety of targets. Maheswarastra 2 will have a range of 250 km and will carry 375 kg of multi purpose warhead for neutralization of targets. Both of this system are going to be guided rockets. The 250 km range rocket is going to be based on Brahmos missile without a seeker. The Army version of Brahmos does not require seeker as most of its targets are going to be stationary one like bunkers, command center, and ammunition depot. The cost of Brahmos missile is 40 crore rupees, while the new 250 km rocket or missile proposed by Sula Industry is priced at just 8 crore. This was today's update. Please let us know your views on this in comment section. If you like the video, do not forget to like, share, and subscribe. With this, I would like to say goodbye and Jai Hind. We'll be soon back with more interesting and amazing development happening in the defense sector.